Did he have a car? Do you remember if it yes. was a car or was a he, bicycle? Did he, he had a, a bike? He had was a car. Someone else's Chill, car Joe. It, I'm it? sure I can rag on your exes if I really wanted to, but I won't go there. Hey, hey my exes are nice. And this was not an ex. This was more of like a dating situation. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of On Display with Melissa Gorga. Make sure you're following On Display on Instagram. We have our Instagram account now, On Display with MG. Make sure you follow Joey Gorga, too, on Instagram. Oh, no. You know what? Do yourself a favor and do not follow (laughs) Joey Gorga on Instagram because... I just opened Instagram. He must have posted this while he was upstairs. I just opened Instagram and I see him feeding Frank Catania a freaking bottle and burping him. He's like a 300 pound man. What? Wait, where was I when this happened? Isn't that so funny? It's so funny. It's stupid. No, it's so stupid. Stupid, it's not oh funny. My God. No, it's so funny. You know, you really got to watch like the bloopers of like us making it and how funny it is. Who record? Okay, first of all, is that what you did yesterday when you yeah. took a ride yeah, with yeah, Frank? Yeah, okay, yeah. number one. <laughs> number two, who filmed that? Because that was not me. I just want to say I was not the videographer of that. So who actually filmed them? And where did you get a freaking baby bottle? That's, that's, Those would be my question. That's actually not a baby bottle. You know what that is? That's, that's a water bottle. That looks like a baby bottle. Oh, we, like- I just grabbed it out of the drawer. You know, you know me. I don't prepare for anything. We're just so busy, so I'm just like, all right. And I think, I think it is shit right off the cuff. So I'm pretty good. I'm very talented. Oh my god, very. that is okay, yeah. guy. Yeah, that's yeah. A plus talent it. right there. It. Let's yeah. burp Frank Catania. Which, Let's give him a bottle. I didn't see the rest of the who video. Would, put, would you ever think of putting a big monster man like that on your shoulder, burping him? Or put him on your lap. The fact he that broke Frank, my leg. He hold on. Broke my knee. That's how heavy it is. The fact that Frank Catania agrees <laughs> and allows you to do that and burp him yeah. and play on a swing set. I saw is yeah. what else did you guys do? Because I didn't my watch. Friend, bro, for thirty years. It's, we got a great relationship. November sixteenth. Make sure you come out to White Plains. At the Performing Arts Center and laugh your asses off. Oh, my God. Make sure you got insurance. Please don't say the break a rib thing. Please don't say it, Joe. Please. I've heard it a thousand times. Make sure you have insurance because if you come out there and you laugh so hard and you break a rib, I'm not responsible. Don't come to me because my insurance company is not going to cover it. Yeah. I How about can't, that? I cannot. We got to get a new line. That Melissa, can't be it anymore, Melissa, though. Melissa, no, that one's got to go. We are re- Melissa, you guys, everyone, Melissa. you've heard it here on display. That is the last time you will ever on hear. I'm tired of hearing on display. No, on but display. you can't say you're going to. Each and every day, every day. <laughs> I'm tired of hearing that shit, too. But I, you hear me complain. See, that's the difference between women and men. Men, we take the shit. We <sighs> listen to it. We're very normal. We don't talk. We're chill. If you oh, want yeah, to say on display, look at how chill he is right now. This no, no, is chill. No, she'll say that a thousand times, and we'll sit there. Okay, all right, on display. But honey, that's display. how you. I like, go to sleep and I'm like on display, on display, okay. on display. But you know, I say break a rib. You hear it what once a month. Wait, no, I hear it every time you tell people to watch one of your comedy shows. So we need to come up with a new sh- stick. No, that's Schlick, my stick. Schnick. No, Shtick? No. What is that word? That's mine. We need to come up with a new slogan. Shtick. Stick. Stick it Shtick. out. Stick. Because you know what? I don't want to hear that one anymore. So how about, want me to help you right now come up with a new okay. promotion? Yeah, me, okay. I want, I want to hear what you got to say. Make sure you guys come out November 16th. Why? Because I'm relatable. I'm funny. I want you to have a good time. Have a cocktail. Nah, come join nah. me on stage. Something, bro. Not oh, you're going join to. Me on, you're you're going to break a rib. On stage. What? Hello, I'm relatable. I'm funny. <laughs> Come join me. Yeah, that's great. I'm going to rip great. my wife the whole time I'm yeah, up there. How yeah. about that? It's People just reality. come for that. That's right. Oh, I I got some new stuff about you, boy. Oh, oh, oh. oh my you better god! Better not come to this one. Yeah, she if you... gets so mad. She's so mad. You know what sucks about being a comedian? Because you talk about your family. You talk about real stuff in real life. And they don't like it. They don't like it because it's the truth. And they don't like it. Okay. Well, anyway, guys, he will be with Frank Catania November 16th, White Plains, New York. Joe, where can they get tickets? Do you know? Yeah, I know. Listen, www.wppack.com. Okay, there you go. 
Yeah. November 16th, guys. So if you're in the area, what else did you do, Frank, in that video, though? So far, I saw the playground and the bottle. Was there more? Did, should I keep just watching? Keep, no, you watch it. You just watch it. You oh, tell my me God. You, you guys check out Joe's Instagram. Speaking of... That's so funny. I don't care. I don't care. Oh. I put a 50-something-year-old man on my lap, and I fed him a bottle, and he drank it. And then I burped him. He you really guys have, it. like, a good banter. And I love how Frank kind of... You guys have like this banter back and forth. And I, Frank thinks you're just like, he thinks you're special. You think he's special. It's just like, you guys are funny. Have you guys, you guys like grew up together? Really? No, right? You kind of met him when he was like 20 ish. I met him when I was like 17 ish. Okay. So was he an attorney and when you first met no, him? No, he was 17 years old. I mean, he was a wild man. And then he met me on the streets and he goes, look at you, man. He goes, you're one of the baddest. Oh my Baddest God. son of a bitch is I'm sure here. those were his words. And he goes, can I be your friend? I said, absolutely. Oh my God. My this and is, that's how he's just like, friends. I can't get a serious conversation out of Joe for anything. Like it's, it goes right to like, whatever. Did he want to bring an apple martini over so you guys can have cocktails together? Is that what he wanted to do? Nah, I wasn't, I wasn't much apple martinis, man. He's, you know, he changed. He no, go, but apple martinis, Joe, were such a thing back in the day. Everywhere I went, I ordered an apple martini. And you know what? I think I'm going to order you one. You, you hung out with some loser guy that you went. Oh my God. Should we tell the funniest thing? Let's tell thing? this story. I want to tell about well, this story. Well, we're not going to mention any names because, yeah. you know. Let's tell this story. Guys, we had the funniest thing happen to us the other day. It was like crazy. We, we went out to dinner. We were meeting some friends um, at this new like restaurant that just opened nearby that everybody's talking about. That's so great. Yada, yada, yada. So we went to dinner there. We met some friends. Our friends were taking a minute to get there. So Joe and I were like having a cocktail first and the owners came up to us like, Hey guys, I'm so happy you guys came in. How do you like the place? Like this one guy who he looked I, at he, me, he goes, man, you're a stud. He goes, very good looking guy. Wait, that part is me. made up and false. No, that no, no, oh it. my God, Joe, can we give them a real story? Just ahead, keep going, cause Jesus. Keep so the one, you know, one of the owners was talking to us, happy we came in. So he looks at me and he's like, you know, you know, you were at my wedding. And I was like, I was? And he's like, yeah, you, you can. I never saw this guy before in my life. I have no idea who he is. So he was like, you were at my wedding. And I was like, I was? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, come on. He's like, yeah, I actually, you used to date a guy and he mentioned his name, which this guy I was L- not like L- a loser. <laughs> well, when I tell the story, this guy was not one of like my ex boyfriends. I wouldn't call him that. It was someone like I dated maybe a couple times, like for a short amount of time, like nothing too serious. So he's like, "You have been to my, you came to my wedding," and I was like, "I've never seen this guy before in my life. Like I don't even know who he is." I was like, "What? I was at your wedding." And in all fairness, now obviously I'm on TV, so it's like he must remember the face and be like, oh my God, that's Melissa Gorga, and she was at my wedding. So I guess I dated his friend for a short time. Once he mentioned his friend's name, he said, you came with so-and-so, you were his date. He's like, he was a friend of mine at the time. And I was like, oh my God, really? I'm like, oh my God, I can't even remember going to a wedding with him. But like, that's so crazy. Mind you, I was probably at the time 20 maybe 21, I would say, because I met Joe at 24. So I'm probably 21 years old, which is like, you know, two years older than my daughter is right now, by the way. So he was like, yeah, he's like, you know, he's like, I was like, I'm so sorry. I don't remember even going. I'm like, but that's crazy. That's cool. And he's like, yeah, he's like, but you know what happened? I was like, what? He's like, my friend who was my date at the time, He's like, he never gave me a card. He never gave me a gift for the wedding. And I'm loser. like, oh, God, that's all you got to say in front of Joe Gorga. <laughs> Joe's like, uh, loser. Oh, my God. What the fuck are you dating? Like, guy <laughs> showed up, didn't even give a card. And the guy calls him up and says, listen, you forgot that there was no card. Wait. He- yeah. Like, t- tell the story. No, tell he didn't story. say you forgot. He goes, listen, he goes, you know, I even called him up because I guess they're no longer friends, these two guys, by the way. And so he goes, I called him up a week after my wedding and I said, hey, I just want you to know, like, I never received a card from you. I just want to make sure it didn't get like stolen by the venue or yada, yada. And he said, the guy that I was dating said at the time, well, don't I have like a year to give you a gift? Like, I just didn't get it to you yet. A year? <laughs> Uh, the guy says a year. I mean, what the <laughs> fuck is... Go- 
There, no wonder why when she met me, she was like, Gaga. She didn't know what to do. She wanted to move in immediately. She, she, she was like, I love this man. He's handsome. He's gorgeous. He's got the money. He's a businessman. Wait, I'm like, guys, I'm out to dinner. I'm having a little Cosmo. I'm like, this is the story Crazy. that I'm getting told right now in front of Joe Gorga. He's probably like he's dying. Into, I have not stopped hearing about. Remember, you could be with that guy you dated, so. went to a wedding with that doesn't even give a card. I mean, guys, to all my listeners out there, have you ever dated someone that you don't even like? like mentioning anymore or like someone that was in your past and like, or do you, I'm sure you guys, your husbands tease, tease you about like someone you used to date. Joe loves. Did he ever take you out to dinner? Was that did, like, did, did I he think take we've you? been like out. McDonald's? To- did you go to McDonald's? Like, how did he ever like? I did, actually did love. Did he sit there and not pay the bill? Like, what did he do? Take you for a slice of pizza? Well, like, what did you guys do? I'm curious. You're so annoying. Not like really. I did. Did he take you to the movies back then? Like, did what? Yes. Did he buy and one by the t- way, did I he sneak you in. Did he buy the ticket and he snuck you in? Like, what really happened? No, like, I, I like I McDonald's. By the way, and I love dipping McDonald's in honey fries and honey. Just so you know. But no, I think he did take me. I would never date someone who was like a, a like a loser. So I, I don't know what was. happened. I, I don't I don't was. know what happened. I felt so bad. I looked at the guy. I was like, you know, that not, has nothing to do with me. Like, I didn't even know who you were. He's like, I know, I know. He's like, oh, he's like, I'm just he's like, it's a funny story now because I'm like, Melissa Gorga was at my wedding. <laughs> did he like, have a car then? Did he have a car? Do you remember if it yes, was a car or was a he, bicycle? Did he, he, had a, a bike? he had was a car. Someone else's Chill, car? Joe. Was it, was I'm it, sure I can rag on your exes if I really wanted to but I won't go there. Hey, hey, my exes are nice. And this was not an ex. This was more of like a dating situation. No, so just you're just mad. I dated anyone in life. I feel like dating. you would love that. I've, if I never dated anyone like that would make you happy, but I'm sure you were so happy to hear that. You know, the guy was not the best <laughs> gifter. <laughs> that was fu- so funny. And I'm never going to let, let you live that down. I'm not. I'm not. That's like the fourth story I heard like that. Dot guys, you dated. No, you yes. don't even know any yes. of my exes. Yes. Do you like any of them? You don't even know any well, of them. I, I, you know, I know, I know of them. Yes. Okay. And well, don't say anything bad. I'm not. I'm not saying nothing, you know. So it is what it is. Just. All men just would just rag me. on their wives' exes if they could. They would find things wrong with them, right? You like blow me a kiss right now. That's what you should do. Buddy. What? You okay. should say how. You know, I just hope the next time I go out to dinner, somebody comes up to our table and tells us a funny story about Joe and his ex. That's what I hope. I was like, how is this happening right now? I dated some classy, hot women. Yeah, everybody wanted. Oh, yeah. Okay. They were hot, you know? But speaking about McDonald's, you know, because I just brought up McDonald's, what's this, you know, this president thing you know this debate i've never i don't know if i'm just more, you mean the election the yeah, whole the, election I'm just, I yeah i'm just focused on it's like the housewives of presidency man it's like crazy what's happening the election watching them like and you're watching all of like the back and forth and like they're pulling receipts it's like a reunion like to watch a presidential debate and just watch like no matter what party you're voting for, this is not about that. This is just about like, and obviously this goes on every time there's an election year, right? Does it really? Yeah. Uh, it's it's it- like, it's about like no. ripping the other person, getting everything they've ever done in their past, finding anything they've ever said wrong. I mean, Andy Cohen should host the, all the debates because he's so well, <laughs> yeah, like right. he knows right. better than anyone how to handle. Like, I don't know how Andy hasn't like, you know, Anderson Cooper is his best friend and I think he'd probably be more qualified for the position. But Andy really could do that because like he, it's no different than a freaking housewives situation, the way they pull receipts and it's like, you know, I think he'd be the best moderator, to be honest. But is it is it is it, is it more in depth because of TikTok and Instagram and social media? Is that what it is? Because, you know, I you don't remember I it they, growing up. I don't remember this. I don't remember this. But now I, I know there was commercials and they would rip the other person. Oh, Always, oh, yes. Don't vote for this one. This one took this money and he did this with it. Whatever, you know. But but this is crazy. Yeah. Right? The, what the, these are the president. They're going to be the president of the United well, States. Well, one of them is. One of them is. Yes. Yeah, one. They're not going to be the presidents. There's going to be president. a president. That's what I said. I yes. Say 
Yeah, but it is crazy, guys. It is crazy to watch. And before you know it, we're going to know who our president is in the next, what, three weeks maybe? So guess what, guys? I registered Gino to vote. I was so excited to do that. And he's only 17. So do you know you can register your child to vote at 17? But I don't think he can actually vote till he's 18, right? Oh. Which I was confused. I'm like, why is am I able to register him to vote? But any which way, guys. Whatever they do, they better lower gas prices. Gas prices. I'm tired Joe of paying. hates paying the gas. $3.99 a gallon and going to the store. And I don't even buy anything. I come out with a bag. It's $350. I'm like, say again? Oh, I know. I it's- heard California is close to $5 a gallon. That is yeah. insane. Like, well, you, you just can't, can't live anymore. I know. You it's, can't live. It's insane. It's like having two wives. <laughs> what the gas like in ten, your wife yeah i feel like i got another wife you know what that's all these women do they spend money spend spend wives it's like having double wives Holy no it's shit. just it's I expensive i know everybody feels it it's expensive right now to live out there what is the most expensive thing out there you think is it is it groceries is groceries it, are expensive I mean, materials up left and right and you know and in, in, in development and construction that's that's insane i mean interest rates are through the roof you know, you can't even buy a house. And if you go buy a house for these poor people and these new people trying to buy a house, how do, how do like new home buyers do it today? It's, it's, it's really, it's, it's well, they're the control. only ones that are actually getting a decent interest rate, to be honest. Right. Why? I don't know. Isn't that how it goes? First time buyer? No, no. It's so, everything's so high. It's crazy. And then whatever's on the market, it's so expensive because there's not a lot of things on the market because no one's selling because they can't sell because... Because then they can't buy. They can't sell because then they can't buy. Well, whatever, guys. Whoever you're voting for, we're going to find out very soon. So just make sure to get out there and vote because everybody's vote matters this election. So get out there. Vote. And uh, that's what we'll say about that. And maybe in four more years, Andy Cohen will be moderating the panel. You know? (laughs) This is crazy. You never know. Let's discuss something we all care about. What's on your feet? And no, I'm not talking about those super cute, but actually torture chamber shoes. I'm talking about Jeetify shoes, the shoes your feet have literally been begging for. By the end of the day, we're all feeling a little broken down like a reunion special, which is why Jeetify provides two free orthotics with every shoe and a built-in lateral stabilizer that realigns your body. Are you sick of feeling like your feet are taking more hits than one of the shady housewives on social media? Jeetify's patent and versatile shock technology absorbs all the shock and stress, so you don't have to. Guys, I'm running around all day. You guys know this from Envy to football games all over the place. And Jeetify has completely fixed anything when it comes to my feet. They no longer throb. They no longer hurt. They are the most comfortable shoes I have ever put on, honestly. And I can literally wear them for hours on end with absolutely no discomfort whatsoever. Whether you're power walking a brunch or making a dramatic exit, these shoes have your back and your feet. Who knew comfort could be this chic and shady, right, guys? So if you're still walking around in shoes that scream, I'm suffering, honey, it's time for an upgrade. Use code Melissa for $20 off orders of $100 or more at gdefy.com. That's promo code Melissa for $20 off of $100 or more at gdefy.com. Joe, you know what else I want to talk about today? Wow. Um, How about our, that meatloaf upstairs? How about that? Oh my God. My better, meatloaf better, better is cooking better. and I just checked it. It needs like, I'm going to tell Joey Gorga in five minutes to take it out with Let his. Burn my meatloaf. Ha, do you guys love to all my listeners out there? Are you loving our cooking videos? Because I never got more like DMs response. I am dying over the way that you guys love watching Joe and I cook. Okay, and that the fact that we just and everyone has so many questions, so let's just answer them right now for everybody. Everyone's like, "What? Are, what's going on? Like, are you coming out with a cookbook? Are you trying to get a cooking show? Like, what's happening?" No, the truth is, Joe and I really do cook like that in our kitchen all the time. I know I've definitely shown you things we've made before for years. I've always showed you my pasta and my sauce and um, the Italian deli pasta I make with the it's the pasta with the peas and the ham, which I'm due to show them that. Um, but I have always showed you guys things, but lately I just decided, you know, we're cooking, let's just create some content while we're cooking. Right. So, 
Um, we're in the kitchen. We're just cooking. And I can't get over, Joe, how much everyone loves it. Are you surprised that every... And they, they think the recipes are great, like how we cook. Well, we cook good. We cook really good. You know, you said it right. We cook simple. We're simple. Everything's so simple, you know, and... Everybody else puts all this shit in there. No, simple, and it comes out amazing. And you yeah. don't know too much, you know? So. If you guys don't follow me on TikTok or Instagram, which I'm sure all of you do, you can check out. So far, I've made you guys a steak pizzaiola. I've showed you the best quick, like quickie little potatoes with Lipton onion soup mix. Oh, my God. They're delicious, and everyone's they're going amazing. crazy. They're so good, right? Um, what else? My chicken cutlets. I got, I, I make a killer chicken cutlet. Yeah, you look like a chicken cutlet too, baby. Oh my God. <laughs> what else did we do, Joe? I can't remember. Um, I don't know. We got oh, my pizza pork. Yola, pizza yola, yes. Pork, pork the and potatoes. Pork, potatoes, cherry peppers, hot cherry peppers, guys. So good. You know, we got to make a Sunday sauce. A Sunday sauce. We've done a thousand times, but we'll make a new one have now. You, have you, have you really showed? Oh wait, uh, let's answer this. A lot of people say, um, Oh, wait, you know what we just put up yesterday? Just yesterday on social, guys, we put up frying pasta. So when you have oh. leftover pasta, this is Joe's thing. He loves to fry. Did your mother used to do this, Joe? Where did you a get this ba- from? Yeah, my mother. It was the best. And, and, and you know, I, I just, because you posted it, right? Now I'm getting it on my feed. Some other people making it. So I see it. But they don't make it like me. They don't make it like me. Because I make it with this crust. This crunchy thing that you, when I, you know, it's you called know, burnt. It's called it's not you, burnt. You it's burn not it burnt. a little no, bit. No, no, it's not. It's no, called no. crust. Well, burnt, it's a little you'll burnt. Taste the burnt. This is crunch. He oh, likes it so burnt. Amazing. See, some people say like you're burning it, but nobody realizes like yeah. we like it well burnt. done. We don't like you it ever burnt. Say it burnt. Don't you say it's burnt. Your your meat life meatloaf might burn up there. So don't say my. It's about pasta. to burn. Let's burn. say we like it crispy. We like it crispy. That's what we like. We don't like to burn things. Crispy. We like things crispy, crunchy. well done, crunchy. We like a <laughs> like that. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> crispy sounds. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> um, what else did you we should, make? Any, Anything wh- else yet? Whoever's listening to this, you know, shoot some requests and we'll make it. We'll make it. Tell us what you want. We'll show yeah. you our style, how we make it. You grew up with so much food and I used to um, have your parents over once so I used to have Joe's parents over one time during the week when the kids were little every single week and they would teach me one dinner and I would learn how to make one thing each right yeah, yeah. amazing and that- make you the scroll and beans Oh yeah, I haven't made that in a while and polenta. you know my my father I used to eat so much polenta when I was younger cornmeal I was like, oh my God, ma, I can't pull into my father would yell. He goes, hey, one day you're going to pay a lot of money for that in a restaurant when you get older. And what I do, the first thing, anybody that has polenta, I order it. And I do spend like $25. Yeah, for, and you get for, this little amount, we fight over yeah, it. <laughs> yeah, for like, you know, 50 cents of uh, cornmeal. I love polenta. It's so good. I miss those days though, right? When your parents will never taste the food. Like, you know, we're cooking, we're trying to do the best we can, but like, it doesn't taste like theirs. No. Not exact. It just, something's slightly different. People enjoy your parents out there. Even if sometimes they're a pain in the, in the ass, just don't worry. Enjoy them. Spend time with them because when they're gone, they're gone. Call them, pick and, up the phone. Sometimes I don't yeah. call my mother enough. I swear. And I'm like, my God, I have to call Donna Marco. I have to call Donna Marco. And yeah. like, Guys, for real, just pick up the phone and call them sometimes. I know your lives are so busy. For some reason, I feel like we're all so much busier than we used to be or distracted. Or I don't we're even... We're busier than we used to be. Right? It was a different world. Everybody shut down early uh, back then. It was just different. Everybody hung out more. Yeah, like we're going... Right yeah. now, guys, we're recording this podcast. It's almost 8 o'clock at night. We got up 5, 30, 6 o'clock this morning. We have gone all day, worked all day, and my dinner is literally in the oven while I'm multitasking and, and recording this podcast. And like, I, my brain never... My brain won't shut off until what? By the time we eat, 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night, and then and we just start, start all over. I'll go to the gym again. tomorrow morning. You know, yeah. it's just crazy. Life is crazy. I feel like we need, that's why Joe and I are, you know, right, babe, we're big on vacations because it's the only time, like we work hard, play hard. It's the only time we legit spend a week and unplug. Like you need to unplug sometimes. And 
truthfully, that's the only time I can get you to unplug at all. And even me, like when I get on the couch tonight, we'll say we're going to watch a movie or a show or unless it's monsters. It's emails and nonstop. It's very hard for me to pay attention unless it's monsters. Dimes, dimes, dimes. That's all I hear her say. Um, dimes, blame dimes, it on the rain. The- yeah, yeah. She's in the. She's in the shower. Did you hear me blasting the other song? Um, money talks. Mm-hmm. Money oh. talks. Dirty cash. I want you. Dirty cash. I need you. Whoa. Yeah. I can't stop singing it, guys. I'm obsessed. When are we gonna find out if these boys are gonna get released? They're not We're boys. Definitely They're... getting released. You think so? One hundred percent. It's gonna happen. I'm really curious. Imagine being in prison thirty five years. Oh my god. Oh, Wait, I have to call Joey and tell him to take them. That, it's burning. The meatloaf's years, definitely. Could, that that's that's insane. How, what are they going to come out to? I wonder. Do they still have all their money? No, that's a good question. Like, where's where did the money go? Like the parents' money wasn't it left? Isn't it their money? Like, where is Maybe. it? Maybe. Hi, Joey. It's mommy. Hi, mommy. Can Hi. you take the? Can you take the? meatloaf out of the um oven for me yeah. please with two with those two things on your hands and just put it on top grab it's it gonna... barehanded don't worry about no, it stop. be a man stop it because it's gonna burn just grab the pan wait put the two things on your hand take it out oh and just put God. it on top of the stove okay put the two things on your hand what do you Nicole, think he's mitts. gonna grab it with it's a hot just pan grab it with his bare hands alright thank you honey I mean, you stop babying my kids. Joe, You're men. You got to make them men. It's a hot pan. Nobody grabs it without mitts. Do you? Sure I do. You sound ridiculous. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, um, 20 years later. I speaking of me. unplugging, 84% of cell phone users claim that they could not go a single day without their without their device. Like, not one single day without their device. I, I know just from, like, Talking to people at NBC about doing traders, right? Like the fact that I cannot have a cell phone in my hand or any communication for three weeks, I just simply can, I can't, I, my brain is not at the point of life that I could handle that right I, now. I'm more worried about like, if we do it, you know, I, I can't have sex for three weeks. Like what the fuck am what? I What? That's what you think about? Like, How what? about not being able to talk to me, see me? know where I am, what I'm doing, or vice versa. Like, that's insanity. That's insanity. That's That's what the people on Traders do. They put their phone down, and guess what? They're allowed to have, like, a 30-minute conversation, and it's all, like, someone's watching them have the conversation. So, like, they have to have the conversation. like a vacation, three weeks. Supervised. Without your wife. This guy I do business with, his wife, his mother, her mother's real sick, so she had to go to Florida. And she was gone for a month, right? So he was taking care of the kids. The kids are a little older, but he was taking care of the kids. And then uh, he, the wife was coming home. So he's like, ah, fuck. I go, what happened? He goes, my wife just got home. <laughs> fuck, I go, what do you mean, oh, fuck? You haven't seen her in a month? He goes, yeah. And then the next day he called me up. He goes, my God. It was so nice without her for a month. <laughs> You know, I'm talking about cell phone so- detachment and unplugging. This guy's talking about how nice it would be without his wife for a month. Uh, you know. Just so you know, if you were to do, if you were, you would not be able also, you can't leave the room. You can't do anything. So whatever. But let's get back to unplugging because we're totally going off on a tangent here. I mean, I don't know. 84% of cell phone users claiming they can't go a single day without their device. That's pretty crazy. And 67%, 67% of cell phone owners check their phone for messages, alerts, calls, even when they don't notice their phone's ringing or vibrating. They just go in and check it. I mean, that's insane. It's, it's, it's a natural thing now. That's what it, you know, that's what you do. It's our part of our lives. It's, you know, it's, it's the same. taken over our world, to be honest. Like, I can't remember life without it. Like, and I do, I want to remember life without it. I want to remember. That's why everything in my algorithm, a lot of my algorithm on uh, Instagram is 80s. And it reminds me of like, TGIF, like well, the shows we used to watch, the TV dinners, the little, you oh. know, rainbow bright 
trays that you put in front of you, the Walkman, the the big stereo systems. Like we used to put our cassette in our stereo and hit record on the radio to get the good songs. The like boom boxes. The boom. Like we didn't yeah. just stare at a phone all day. We played outside. I played like Manhunt. 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 Manhunt, right? right? And you, I, I sat on the big green box, which was the electrical box and like, all our girl, we all. I collected acorns. Like what? This time of year, you got to collect the acorns. It's just crazy that we don't do. Like our kids don't have any of that. None of that. It's over. I mean, I don't even know how they would do any of this anyway. Our kids go to school at seven thirty in the morning and literally get home at six thirty at night from football practice. So it's like they barely have time to do anything besides football, eat dinner, and go to bed. Also, right? It's like pretty insane. Guys, the struggle to find high-end skincare at an affordable price is a real one. And that's why I want to tell you all about Dime. Dime Beauty is clean, high-end skincare that is affordable and it really works. And when I say clean, Dime is 100% transparent about every single ingredient. So you can use their products daily with confidence. I am absolutely in love with Dime's Tinted Glow Wonder Screen. I love it so much that I continually bother Dime and ask them to send me more. But seriously, it is that good. And it doesn't matter if you have a fair complexion, medium complexion, or a dark complexion. They have shades to match all complexions. And get this, Dime's sold out retinol alternative, the TBT cream, is finally back in stock. Check that out while you're there. Dime has over 2 million happy customers and their product reviews are literally all five stars. If you haven't checked out Dime, where have you been? Love your skin again. Go to DimeBeautyCO.com now and unlock 20% off when you use code MELISSA20. That's DimeBeautyCO.com and use code MELISSA20 for 20% off. You're going to love this stuff just like I do. These days, a lot of people are learning about all the benefits of fasting, like weight loss, mental and physical performance, and gut health. But worry about the whole not eating part? Well, that's exactly why Prolon was created. Prolon is a revolutionary plant-based nutrition program that nourishes the body while making cells believe that they're fasting. Researched and developed for decades at the University of Southern California Longevity Institute and backed by leading U.S. medical centers, Prolon helps promote healthy blood sugar, support cardiovascular health, and reduce abdominal fat. But get this, Prolon isn't a diet. It's a science, science based on prize-winning discoveries in medicine. And the journey starts with Prolon's five-day program. Snacks, soup, and beverages all designed to keep your body in a fasting state. It's unlike anything you've ever experienced. I did the five-day program myself a few weeks ago. And guys, let me just tell you, it really is a different way of getting your body healthy and back in tune. And yes, I know we've all heard the difficulties of traditional fasting, but that's what makes Prolon so helpful. It's fasting with food. Yep, you heard that right, food. Right now, Prolon is offering on-display listeners 15% off their five-day nutrition program. Go to prolonlife.com slash on display. That's P R O L O N life.com slash on display for this special offer. That's prolonlife.com slash on display. But anyway, speaking of which, Halloween is coming up. So we, you know, we're my friends. Slacking. We should have thrown a party. We, oh, we, we throw the best parties, the best for. We did. You know, you know what sucks is that things change, right? We we, we, we we were going for 12 years, 15 years, throwing these Halloween parties, and now for the past two years, we haven't done it. You know, we're, we're, we're slacking. I know. Why we're haven't slacking. we done No, I'll tell you when we haven't done it. Since we've moved. So we did it all the time in our other house. And since we got to this house, we have not thrown it yet. Is there a reason? Do I not want to wreck this house? Like, why? So, guys, if you know, it's like a going thing that I throw the best Halloween party. My friends and my family really do look for it every year. I get text messages. I can show you seven right now from seven different people. Like, what's up? Where's the Halloween party? Including the bartender that bartends for me every year of the Halloween. Because she has just as much fun bartending. She's like, not again. Are we not doing it? Yeah. Danielle Cabral from the housewives actually texted me today. She's like, am I going to get an invite to like the epic Halloween party? And I feel bad. Like 
telling everyone, yeah, I'm just not doing it. And I think it's just because we've been so busy and crazy, but like, I've always been busy, but I, this last two years, I feel like we're a little bit crazier or busier. Do you agree? Like, why am I not doing it, Joe? Cause you never do it. I do it. So why am I not I planning I it? I do it. No, but I'm the one who gets in there and says, this is yeah. happening. And I call all the problem. people. You're getting lazy. You're getting <gasps> lazy. Yeah, you're getting lazy. You, you did not it. just say that. Keep doing it. Keep How going. about instead of saying you're getting lazy, Melissa, you're working harder than you ever have. And who you've cares? taken on Keep so working. much. You wanted to work, right? You fought me on national TV. You're like, shut up. I want to work. That's right. You try to talk I about. Wanna be you the try woman. to talk about some crumbs. I want to do. I want to be what? Ah, ah, ah. Now you're complaining. Now you're complaining. Oh, 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 I'm you a woman. Me? Hear me roar. I never complain. If it wasn't for you, I have those Halloween parties. I'd do it. Really? I then work. why didn't you plan it? Did you call the food trucks, I, big deal. decor, Listen, like bartenders, big deal. liquor companies? I will call everybody in like literally. Literally one hour, two hours would be well, done. Halloween's this weekend, bro. You better pick it up a notch. You wanna, okay. You guys want to have a bet? <laughs> it's a like bet? next weekend, actually. If you want to have a bet, I guarantee I could set it up. We can, but I'm not doing it. It's not guarantee. happening here. Group I'm text, not ready. Right? Put, 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 group text. All right. Call the food truck guy. Hey, you available? No. Nope. Okay, hold on. Call on. You available? No. Nope. All right, I got one more. Hey, yep, yeah, I'm available. All right, done. Here you go. Next. Okay, so we're not we're not having it this year, but the truth is... I call is- a bunch of kids in the neighborhood, and I have, I have them come scary. I set up this whole little traps outside when you pull up to your house. People come out with chainsaws. You don't even know where they're coming from. Yeah, we oh, did yeah. that. The last Halloween party we had was epic, and when people would walk... We have a really long, long driveway at our old house, and we're like, there's all woods surrounding our house. So as our guests would walk up the driveway, first of all, our Halloween decor was always insane and it's like spooky music and smoke machines. And as they would walk up our driveway, we hired the kids from the neighborhood to walk with like with chainsaw noise without the actual chain was not on it, but they would turn them on and go running with a mask at our guests. And they would literally have panic attacks walking up our driveway to get to the party. It was great. Our parties were like the doctors, you know, to put together doctors, their wives were going, they're having a good time. I'm going around giving everybody shots and, the wife's like, all right, I want one, I want one, all right? Yeah, and, and our doctor husband's... friends, our doctor, our yeah. plastic surgeon friends would come and the wife would be like, he never lets loose like this. This is so amazing. So I'm like, hey, doc, you want one? No, 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 okay. Within an hour later, he's like, hey, I'll have one of those. <laughs> and then it, throughout the night, everybody's shot. Oh, it's a fucking great time. It's wild. It's great definitely time. wild. We, we throw a great party because that's the reason, guys, that I'm not – Throwing the party because unless I'm all in, I don't do mediocre. I don't do it mediocre. Like I, my brain has to be in it. It needs to be all there. And I just was too busy this year. The bottom line is, if I wasn't as busy as I was the last two months, I would have done it. You know, I would have. You know, we could throw one a week later. It doesn't matter. No does thanks. It? it kills the vibe. First of all, it goes from Halloween to Christmas in this house. Like legit, my house is all decorated right now for Halloween. There's. Light, lit up little like autumn trees there's pumpkins there's pumpkins galore yeah, so it's gotta, so cute i gotta get everything joe tell how cute everything uh, was you do a nice job but i can't, can't stand isn't it crazy how the holidays just turn around in like two seconds like it's literally halloween we're gonna blink our eyes guys it's thanksgiving christmas we're going christmas shopping very soon like it's just crazy first of all this time of year is my absolute favorite is it yours if you had to pick is it christmas if is it fall what's your favorite joe well christmas i love christmas i I think i love i like fall but i love this kind of weather this is great weather i think that everyone i hate the cold i do too and for my business is not good well i would say my favorite time of year like if i go by the months i think people would think in jersey our favorite time of year would be like um Like summer, right? It's not, though. I love, starts for me in October. October, November, December, my favorite. It was when I feel the happiest. What about you? Me? Yeah. I'm happy every day. As long as I wake up in the morning and I got life and I got freedom, I got everything, baby. Every day's my birthday. And you're right next to me? Shit. I'm so happy (laughs) looking at you. (laughs) Fuck everything else. It could snow every day. It could rain. It could have forest fires outside. But as long as I'm looking at you, 
Oh my I'm happy god. As hell. He's schmoozing me for some reason. I don't know. Well, back to Halloween <laughs> quickly. If we were gonna dress up this year, which we're not, which we're such Ugh, losers this year. I loved when we were Barbie and Ken, by the way. That was one of my favorites. Like the, that guy you were dating. The Italian... Be- the, t- <laughs> shut up. <laughs> the Italian um, Ken and Barbie. What would you want to dress up as this year? Uh, me? If you had to... If, you, if, I, if I told oh. you to pick a costume, what would you be? I would be... Um, no, for real. Think me? about it. What would you want to be? Me? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I would probably be... Um, what, what are you going to be? I don't know. I, I think I think I have to. I didn't even think because you know me. I got to put a lot of time into it. I don't know. But should we tell them what Joey's going to be? How about that? I like to be like maybe what? Yeah, what? Oh. Well, so last year, Gino and all of his friends were these skeletons. And guys, the skeletons have a boner. So like they're in full costume of a skeleton and then there's a boner. They pull a little string and the thing goes out like a boner. It's such like a boy costume and now this year joey's like mom me and my friends are being the skeleton boner costume boys will be boys. so joey went and took it from gino's room at least i didn't have to buy him a new costume and he's like now it's his it's his turn to walk around with the boner skeleton i think it's so inappropriate and so ridiculous but that's what the boys are being this that's what my that's what oh i know what gino is being i don't know he made me order him in like an nba jersey so i don't know what he's doing he's doing something you know he could be if really, and, and we should be serious about this. Like, if you were a penis and I was a vagina, and you were able to bang me once in a while, like when we would run around the party, what? And you could, yeah, you, I'm that, the penis. You're the vagina. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I can't. Well, do you want to hear the top see, ten? I would do that. I would. <laughs> of course you would. I would. You of would want to be something would. like sexy and hot. You know, oh. I would like uh, stick a big girls. Penis girls on look for an excuse to be like. <laughs> Little whore outfits. That's what girls do. They're like, oh my God, I get to dress like a whore. It's Halloween. What was the scariest movie you ever saw? I, I, to this day. Horror movie, yes. There was two that used to make me jump out of my skin. But there's one that my hair would stand up on my arms. Like no matter, to this day, I think if he popped on the screen, I would, I'm scared. I'm scared. Poltergeist. The, the old really? man in Poltergeist, when yeah. he would put the hat on, the black hat, and he'd be like, Carolyn, come to the light, Carolyn. We should watch Follow this. me, Carolyn. Follow me. Oh, my. The Reverend. Jesus. Joe, I just got the chills. Joe, I just got the chills. Really? I swear. Yeah, like for real. Like I, w- I couldn't sleep in my bed at night until I was like 15 years old because of the Reverend from, from Poltergeist. Like... He scared the shit out of me, and Freddy Krueger did too. And I think no, I'm going to tell you which. No, one Freddy was also like things that Freddy aren't fake crazy. scare yeah. me. Those right. guys are real. That's why yeah. they don't scare me. It was like a real man. It's like <laughs> you want to know what really got me out of everything that I really, really was the Exorcist. No, the see, that's original, not scary. That shit's fake. The original Exorcist with the head spinning with thing? the girl when they and, you know oh that was scary. It was scary. Yeah. It can't lie about that. that She's like, <laughs> I still remember that movie. Yeah. yeah. That was scary. Now if I probably, I mean, no. that didn't scare me as much because it seemed fake. Like that man, old yeah. man could have been walking on the street anywhere. And he's like, he just looked at you with those eyes. Like Carolyn, Carolyn. I'm like, whoa, ho, ho, ho. shit is scary. So why don't you do that? Put that on Instagram right now or, or redo whatever that thing is. You're just and go Carolyn. Carolyn, see if you get responses. No, I'm going to... Okay, so after this podcast, guys, I'm definitely going to put up, tell me what your all-time scariest movie is, and I want all your responses. That is definitely going to be one of the things that we do for this. Um, So listen, with all that said, guys, I hope you have an awesome, awesome Halloween. It's our favorite time of the year. Yes, we are party poopers this year. We are not having a Halloween party. I, I'm going to make a promise to myself not to book anything in September or October next year. Like, I just want to plan my Halloween party next year. I got to stop letting our people down, Joe. Yeah. Right? It's like time to stop letting our people kind of down. Halloween party. You know, well, you, you dress up as a Playboy bunny and you come in. And I'll just be waiting for you. What do you want to be, Hugh Hefner? That's so typical. Like, I need to be much more creative just than that. It. Let's just do it. Let's just try it. Oh, my God. I'll be much more creative than that. But I want you guys to have 
an awesome Halloween. If you have little ones, enjoy every single second of it enjoy because it. it is the best time That's in right. life to go trick or treating with them in their costumes. And it's just such a beautiful time in life. But anyway, guys, we're going to be playing a replay next week. Probably one of our Halloween specials because, um, you know, we got to give you a little Halloween spirit next week. So tune in for the replay. But we'll be back on November 7th with a new episode. Uh, thanks for listening. We love you guys so much. And love you guys. Peace. we'll see you soon. Ciao. Arrivederci. Ciao, ciao. I'm Cody Rigsby. And I'm Andrew Chappelle. We're here to announce our brand new podcast, Tactful Pettiness, now on Podcast One. We have a lot of opinions. Flip-flops in New York City? You don't love yourself. If I'm not seated, I'm not tipping. Do I want to see a picture of your baby? No. No. If I have to scroll more than 10 seconds, he's not cute. Settling gets you an ugly boyfriend. So we're going to help you out. We sure are because we have the life expertise. We have mastered throwing shade with intention. We are in the business of helping you find and keep your man. And we're here to teach you the fine art of tactful pettiness. Join us each week as we traverse the world of pop culture, chat with our celebrity friends, and show you how to accept yourself without taking life too seriously. Get new episodes of Tactful Pettiness with me, Cody Rigsby, and me, Andrew Chappelle, every Thursday on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, and anywhere you get your podcasts. Stay petty, bestie. Pluto TV is a place for movie fans like me and TV fans like me. They've got something for everyone and it's free. I love free and I love Jersey Shore. For me, it's the Godfather. SpongeBob SquarePants. I am Patrick. Patrick is me. Oh, Forrest Gump, come on. Criminal Minds, solving crime after bedtime. Whatever you love to watch, Pluto TV makes it easy with thousands of free movies and shows. Pluto TV, stream now, pay never.